What you're looking at is the Robert August, What I Ride. Robert is the original pioneer of surf travel. In uh, 1963, he and Mike Henson took off around the world to uh, travel the world. They each had one board, and they, uh, they basically inspired every surfer since then to be looking for newer and better waves. And since that trip, Robert has always been looking to get the widest range of, of characteristics out of a single board uh, so that when he travels, he doesn't have to travel with multiple boards. Robert is a longboard surfer, so you see him making a lot of longboards. The What I Ride is based off of what Robert rides himself and a lot of characteristics that he likes to have in his own board. Again, a board that has a lot of range of use, uh, small waves, good for nose riding and good for surfing off the tail, uh, you know, high performance longboard style. The What I Ride is available in uh, four sizes, 8, 4, 9, 0, 9, 6, and 10, 0. And to talk about the design a little bit, uh, it is it does have a good amount of power underfoot for its length. Uh, it has a pretty good down rail on it, just creating a lot of lift. On the board, it is soft up front, and it does have a uh, pretty good single concave up front, or good nose riding concave underneath where you're going to be nose riding the board. So it is a good nose rider. Um, with the two plus one fin set up on the tail, you can ride it off the tail. And then to maximize the nose riding of this board, uh, it does have a squash tail. Basically with the, with the long boards, the more tail area, and also having a blocked off like squash tail or square tail, like what this board does, the more water is landing on the tail of the board, which is going to then give you more upward lift on the nose when you're nose riding. So that's why you see a lot of the good nose riding boards having a square tail. So that's a little bit behind the design. Uh, it does have a good amount of power underfoot, so don't be afraid if you're caught in between sizes and you're not really sure which size to get, it is okay to size down when, when you're in that dilemma. Uh, you're still going to have enough power uh, for the smaller or softer waves. Available in three different constructions. The board we have here is polyester. So it's a polyurethane foam, uh, polyester resin. This is classic longboard construction. So if you're looking to have a, a nice airbrush and to have a little bit of, little bit of weight to the board, a little bit of glide, like that classic longboard feel, this is the way to go. Uh, we also have the top light construction, which is epoxy sandwich. This board's gonna be the most durable against dinging. Um, and also it, it never gets that yellowish tint. You basically scrape the wax off, re-wax it, and it keeps that new look. Um, again, it's available, available in all the same sizes, 8, 4 through 10 out. So maximum durability is in the top light. And then if you're looking for both um, durability and the aesthetic look of it, um, they make a, a construction that's called classic wood. Classic wood is tough light construction. Then on top of it, there's a layer of wood veneer, uh, top and bottom, wrapped all around the rails. And then they also have solid wood nose and tail blocks. So this board is pretty enough to hang on the wall and never surf it, although that would definitely be a mistake. Uh, it's durable enough that you could surf it, and then in the winter, scrape the wax and hang it then. So classic wood, uh, Robert August, what I ride.